Hey Ty, this is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO, just shooting you over that video about how you can increase your online presence. So just taking a quick look at your website. First things up, you have a great header here. You got a nice logo. You got, of course, um, a link to um, the email for the free estimate. And then, and then you have your click to call, which is super important to have. Get them on the phone as quickly as possible so they don't waste time. The longer they take, the less of a chance they'll call. So good job on that. And then of course, going through your website, you have the different products you have, the different services you offer, and then the about us, how long and why they should choose you, which is a lot of reasons. And then of course, another place to send that email and get in contact with you, put their ideas in and what type of project they're looking for so you can know and get back to them right away. Now, I'm not seeing a ton of content. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm only seeing tops like 300 words. What Google is truly looking for nowadays is about 1,500 to 2,000 words throughout your site. And the reason being is that you, so that you can put organic keywords throughout your site. Now, what an organic keyword is, is a buyer intent word that someone would put into Google in order to find your specific service. And that's why we're looking for a lot of uh, content on your homepage as well as your other pages. So before we get deeper into that, let's take a look behind the scenes at your website. So www.tn-floors.com. We put it in, out pops your rankings. So the two things we're looking at, your UR rating, which is the strength of your website, and the DR rating, which is your trust of your website. Now, ideally, we want this between 30 to 40. That's, that's the golden ratio for both of them. Now, as you can see, your strength is only one and your trust is zero. The reason being is because of your backlinks. You only have five of them. And out of those five, if you look down here, none of them are actually helping your website. None of them are do follow links. They're all no follow links, which means that they're just there, but they're not actually giving power to your website. Now, what a backlink is, is any link that leads from another website back to yours. Now, all backlinks are not created equal. For example, do follow, no follow, that's a prime. However, even if you did have do follow, let's say a backlink from Wikipedia would be awful because that's super spammy. However, a backlink from a distinguished flooring blog would be great because that is relevant to your service. Now, another thing that's super important are those organic keywords. What buyer intent words are you ranking for that Google can say, hey, you'll find the service if you put this in. So checking out your keywords, Middle Tennessee flooring, that's okay. It's very broad, so that can be anywhere. Uh, and then, of course, you have a lot of Tennessee flooring, which, again, Tennessee is pretty damn big. So that can be someone from Knoxville, Memphis, or Chattanooga trying to search for flooring. So unfortunately, they're not very specific to your area where you're servicing, which is Nashville's surrounding areas. So let's take a look at what one of those good buyer intent keywords would be for your area. So flooring Nashville, Tennessee, great buyer intent word has a lot of traffic coming through that or a lot of volume. Now, first thing that pops up are your Google Guarantee. Now, these are the people that are paying to be front and center. Um, and then you have your Google Map Pack. Now, the GMP is super important to get on because 30 to 40% of all people will stop right here and pick one of these three people or four people because as you can see, they're an ad. They'll pick one of these guys because that's just the easiest and yeah, simplest thing to do. Doesn't mean they're the best, just means that they're doing the best with their with their backend stuff. And then you have your organic rankings. This is by strength of website. So first up, you're gonna have Yelp, then LNL Flooring, which is a local company in Nashville. So let's take a look at their website. So just taking a look, they have pretty much the same as yours. Um, as far as setup, they have a nice header, they have their logo, they have a click to call, they have all their drop down menus, their request an estimate. And then they have the different flooring they work with and why you should choose them. Now, they don't have a ton of content either. So yeah, it's it would be easy to beat them out as far as content wise goes, but let's check behind the scenes and why and see why they're doing so well. So when we put them into AREFs, you can see their strength is a 23 and their trust is a Point eight, as you can see. So they're not doing too, they're doing very well with strength, but their trust isn't that hot. But as you can see, what they are doing really well are their backlinks. They have over 320 different backlinks leading back to their site. 
as well as over 1,200 different organic keywords. And they are running some ads, but that's that's irrelevant right now. But they are getting, they, they do have over 1,200 different backlinks. Now, let's check what, I mean, uh, different keywords. Wow. Let's check what their keywords are. So first and foremost, they're ranking for their own name, which totally useless because if someone's searching their name and LNL flooring, that's kind of a cheat because that's an, a, that's a big company called Lumber Liquidators. So they can, they're kind of piggybacking on that name. However, because LNL is a national store, they have stores everywhere that doesn't really help them as far as their ranking goes. What does though is flooring Nashville. As you can see, they have 500 people searching that a month in Nashville. They're in the first real spot and they're getting almost 10% of that traffic from that one keyword, which is amazing. And then hardwood flooring Nashville, 350 people search that. They're in the sixth organic position, which is around the third or fourth, and they're getting 19. So if we were to rank for some of these keywords, like flooring Nashville, flooring stores Nashville, flooring uh, Nashville TN, Nashville flooring, um, and start ranking them, you'd start seeing that organic traffic coming through your site. So if we're looking to beat them, first things first, you need those backlinks. You want to, you need to get good, strong, do follow backlinks so that Google can start saying, hey, this site is trustworthy and strong, so I'm going to start ranking them. And then you need organic keywords. You need that content. So 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And then of course, raising the content on all the other pages so that you can put buyer intent words throughout your site so Google can start ranking you for those. So once you build both of those together, you'll have a strong website that's ranking for good keywords. Now Ty, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach back out to me. And if you could leave some feedback, that would be awesome. You have a blessed rest of your day, man.